is one of the biggest slaughter jackpots ever. It's getting bigger. The winning number is for an estimated $635 million Powerball jackpot. They're drawn on Saturday. The Multi-State Lottery Association says there were no winners. Saturday's jackpot was the 10th largest in U.S. lottery history. The drawing was Powerball's sixth largest ever. Powerball now has that jackpot of, Todd, $670 million. Mm. The dr next drawing set for tonight. I'm getting tickets because, you know, my dad turned 70 on Sunday. Uh -huh. And I've always said the first thing I would do, dad gets to pick out any type of brand new truck he wants. Yeah. Because he always made sure us, were t us girls were taken care so of. So he would pick out the truck and then you would buy the company who makes that truck. I would do that. Yeah, because you'd employ have you. hundreds of millions of dollars. <laughs> hey, starting today, Grand Rapids Public Schools is opening the doors of its health centers once again. When the pandemic hit in March of 2020, they had to close all GRPS school buildings and health centers. Now, these centers are located right inside the building and students are welcome anytime they need it. And the best part, no insurance is required. It's open to students ages 10 to 21 years old, anywhere in the district, and soon they'll be even offering COVID tests and vaccinations. All right, and the state has its eyes on 800 acres in Berrien County, hoping to make it a new recreation area. The Department of Natural Resources is seeking a $4.7 million grant from the Natural Resources Trust Fund to actually buy land from the Andrews University. The property was donated to the school and is already popular with hunters. Officials in Berrien and Buchanan townships have actually endorsed this effort. The DNR is hoping to hear a decision pretty soon in December. A six-year-old boy in Metro Detroit recently found a piece of history while on a walk with his family. Julian, or Julian Gagnon and his family were at the Dinosaur Hill Nature Preserve when he came upon what he thought might be a mastodon tooth. Researchers at the U of M Museum of Paleontologists confirmed that hunch. It sure is a tooth. Mastodons date back 12,000 years. What a treasure. Very cool. Well, today's National Taco Day. Wait, it's not Tuesday. Shouldn't Taco Day be on a Tuesday? <laughs> right. You can celebrate the popular Mexican food with special deals at some national chains. That includes free tacos at Taco Bell and Del Taco when you make app purchases. Chipotle and Moe's, they don't have any deals today, but you'll get a free one for joining the rewards program. Make sure to check your local eateries for deals, too. Some of my favorite tacos locally, City Built Brewing. Mm, I had a chicken taco from Luna oh. uh, during Art Prize. That was probably the best chicken taco I've had in a decade. Uh, it was can't go wrong. So 